the choir to is saying that he's no longer buried but he's risen. After the angel came and removed the stone, he sat on it. And we got a victory from our Lord Jesus. I've been following for those who we just uh, finished receiving. Uh, this is something that follows people. Sometimes when you come to a place where they're crying, you find yourself crying as well without knowing why they're crying. Or you get into a place where people are laughing, you start laughing without knowing the reason. Uh, I remembered uh, a person who went to a place where they were mourning. They were mourning because they lost their child. Then he go there and then started crying even more than those who were there. And then they were looking at him. And he was being asked, Why are you crying uh, so much? How do you know that? Then he said, This person was a very close friend, that's why I'm crying. But hang on a second. And then, and then they asked, are you sure this child who died was your friend? Oh, Then he realized that it was a child who died. I always, think, I always think if love could uh, spread like this as well. For there are those who truly shows the love that uh, God wants us to have. Then I would think if the love could spread the way uh, mourning and happiness spread. But we do have the reason why we laugh and the reason why we thank God. May God be glorified. Without me going forward, there's a song that kept coming on my heart. If you could help me to sing two chapters, then we would uh, continue. 270 in Kirundi. Uh, verse two and three. Adi re
Praise God. Yeah, We'll be happy when we see him and his wounds. Uh, do have a few words that we're going to add on what we have heard. We're going to read in Luke. As you know, I'm not going to uh, usually read so many words. But today they give me a lot of time. So bear with me, we're going to read few chapters. I know that we have a lot of work, but I will be quick. Luke chapter 24. Read from verse 1 to 7. Turasoma mu izina rya Yesu. Kuzuka kwa Yesu. Kuwa mbere w'imisi ndwi kare mu mutwenzi baje kuri yamva bajanye bya bimota neza bateguye. Basanga ikivuye, kitemba gajwe, kivuye kumva. Binjirayo, ni basangayo, ikizi gachunga miyesu. Ivyo, biki wazazaniye, abagabo babiri bahagarari ruhande yabo bamba imhuzu, zikayangana. Bakitinye, vuna mitamaswe hasi, barababaza bati, niki kitumye murondera uriho. Ahanu hababfuye. Nari hano aliko ya azute. Mwibuke uko ya babgiye akiri galiraya. Atumana umunu akuye gushirwa mumawoko ya wanyavyaha. No kubambga, no kuzuka, kumusi, ugiraga tatu na ya majambo yimani. This is the word of God. Uno musi tukunyibuka pasika. Today we are remembering Na, Passover. And, and we've been hearing different words. From Friday we've been hearing words talks about Passover. Today it's kind of like gathering everything about Passover. I was blessed with the word we heard on Friday. What are you going to do to Jesus? For this day you're going to think, what is he going to do to me? We had uh, we heard words about uh, salvation yesterday. If you listen to different places, they talk about the Passover. I do not want to go back uh, in regards to Passover. Because Passover but you do know that the first Passover was in the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve sinned against God. And going forward, you know that uh, Israelites were brought by God a mighty hand of God from Egypt. Before, before leaving, they were commanded to kill lamb and get blood and put on the uh, doorpost. That is the Passover that Israelites are still uh, following or doing. Going forward, God thought, uh, thought that there should be a holy, holy uh, sacrifice for everyone. And that is why God gave us Jesus. And it's, when, it's why we are remembering this Passover. In hearing or reading the words of God, 
I wanted to talk to you uh, in, in four things or four topics. In putting together every major things about Passover that I thought about. As the Holy Spirit give us wide uh, meaning about the Passover. It's in the same way uh, the Holy Spirit may teach you in different ways. But there are four major things that the Holy Spirit uh, explained it to me. It's what we're going to share. May God be praised. The first thing I learned about Passover, it's the love God loves us human being. Love is a very powerful thing. Paul, when he was talking about the love, he said, if you were to have all the gifts and do miracles without love, it's nothing. The love of God. If you read John 3, 16, it says, for God loves the world. And he gave his only begotten son that whoever uh, believes in him may not perish. This love, uh, we can see it on, uh, in how Jesus offered himself. The, God, the love God showed us It's the same love that human or the children of God should have. Let's read in Romans uh, Romans 5 uh, verse 6. We're still talking about the love of God. Romans 5. Uh, verse 6 to 11. Haravuga ngo urukundo rw'Imana ruserurwa n'urupfu rwa Kristo. Tukifise intege nke. Mu gihe gikwiye Kristo yapfiriye abatubaha Imana. Kwari kigoye kumuntu apfi kumuntu apfira umugororotsi umunyange so nziza kumbure umuntu yotinyuka umupfira. Ariko Imana yatweretse urukundo rwayo idukunda kuko Kristo yadupfiriye tukirabanyavyaha Imana ishimwe. This is a great love. As human, let me talk about the love. It's easy to love someone who does well to you. A, a person who does well to you is easy to love them. But it's hard to love someone who does evil to you. Or uh, loving your enemy. Oh, loving a person who does what you hate. But the love of God we just read. When we were still sinners. When we were still powerless. That's when Jesus came and died for us. The love of God. I did learn about love and Passover. We are to love one another. But we also need to love those who hate us. We are to love our enemies. For, for Christ died for us when we were still sinners. The love of God. Praise God. Let's go on the second one. Uh, we got a... Sacrifice, a savior on, on, cross, on the cross. We ha we got a savior on the cross. For what we are learning, Passover. 
It's to say that we were to die. Let's read uh, 2 Corinthians. Uh, 5.21. Corinthians. Uh, Chapter 5, verse 21. Amen. Iman Guhezagiri. Umga tige ze kumenya ichaha. The one who did not know sin. Imana yamuhindu ye ichaha kubgaju. God made him a sin for us. Kugirango muriwe tu hindu ke kugororo kaku imana. So that in him, he might become righteous to God. Inchungu. A savior. Umunu aguchungura. A redeemer who, a redeemer. Ukona tahu ujwe nino jambo. When I understood this word, when Jesus died for us, it's kind of like we, uh, we exchanged for we have something to, to kill us, but we had something to save. For the love that he loved us and wanted to redeem us, to save us, he said, bring that will kill. So we give him our sins. And then he gave us his righteousness. It's why God counted him uh, for our sins. And then uh, his righteousness was applied to us. When he was crucified on the cross, everything was accomplished. Uh, this uh, redeeming of being saved comes in a great love that God loved us. So we may not die uh, even though we were supposed to die. May God be praised. Let's go on the third point. Uh, what I, I learned about the Passover is the victory. A victory is a great thing. Uh, people say that victory doesn't come by accident. It doesn't come by, it has to be uh, But he's, not, he's still not buried, but he has arrived. There's things I learn about the victory of Christ. For Jesus to defeat the devil and demons and everything, it doesn't mean that whoever believes him uh, is going to have victory as well. Yes, the might. But this victory uh, causes them to, to, to become victors. A victory uh, victory. You might find a small thing in Christian life and then it may become great and then you would fight with it and pray for it and then if God were to help you and then you defeat it. Once you defeat it, then you would remember that you have defeated it. So then you have a victory towards that thing. This victory is going to help you to, uh, to become victor on the next thing. I learned on a uh, child of God, the son of God, who went through so many things. I'm talking about the he went through so many temptations. But he was a great servant of God. Then he was fighting a good fight. One day, and then uh, he went through another temptation. And then a child was uh, was died. After the child was passed away, uh, he, took, he took it simple. Oh, 
But others uh, saw that it was a great thing. Great but he took it easy. Uh, I learned that he went through different victories. During these victories, he gave him to become victor on the next temptation. That was back in camp in Africa. A victory calls another victory. The victory of Christ. Every time he remembers it, Jesus defeated this. Jesus defeated this. And he was, uh, he didn't sin. It, it's going to help you not to sin. A victory of Christ. Let me go on the, on the fourth. The fourth thing is to die with Christ and uh, reason with Christ. Dying. Die with him. And then uh, arise with him. It's good that we always remember that God loved us. And it's good to know to remember that Jesus Christ redeemed us from the cross. And it's very valuable to remember that that He was victor and will become victor's well through. But even if we remember all that, if we don't accept to die on sin and die with Christ and be risen with Christ, all that is nothing. There is no hope for us. Let's read Romans chapter 6. Romans chapter 6 from verse 1. Uh, we are remembering the love of God. We are remembering that we were redeemed yes, by Jesus. We got a victory after he was arrived from the dead. It's good that we remember that we have to die with him. Romans chapter 6 from verse 1. Two verse 4. Abafu ye kuvyaha ni dukwiye kubigumamu. Nonerero kubatizwa kwatumye duhambanwa nawe tuba mu rupfu rwiwe kugira ngo nkuko Kristo yazuwe mu bavuye nubwiza bwa data wa twese abari ko natwe tugendana ubugingo busha imani shimwe nkuko yavuye as he died akazurwa mu bapfuye and was risen from the dead niko natwe dukwiye gupfa kuvyaha vya the same way we need to die on the same abikorosai gatatu rimwe kuri kane let's read colossian chapter 1 abikorosai gatatu uh, chapter 3 abikorosai gatatu colossian chapter 3 rimwe kuri kane uh 1 2 4 Rupapuronamashanabidamangirinichenda Kandu bugingu buganyu bukaba buhishanijwe na Kristo mu mana. Kristo niwe bugingo bwacu. Yerekanwa nawe namwe muzoca mwerekanwa nawe muri mu bwiza Imana ishimwe. Praise God. Kufana na Kristo kazoranwa na Kristo. To die with Christ and be risen with him. Nikoko abana 
Bimana, it's true the children of God we fight different battles and the aim it's one is to see God but how is he going to come to that how are you going to become victor how am I going to uh, defeat. I have to uh, die on the scene and die with Christ and be risen to life with him. If I were to talk about dying or death, I'm not sure if you have seen a dead body. When a person is dead, when the uh, spirit leaves him, whatever concerning alive people, don't ask the person. So if, if we, we die to sin, let's say about lying, if we died uh, from lying, our example would not be lies, meaning lying is not within us. That is what it means to die to sin. If you died to sin of cursing, Cursing, it's no longer within you. And it's what the word of God is telling us. I have to die on something. You have to die on that thing. And then after dying, we be risen by Christ. And live in, into li a life with Christ. Dying and... Uh, Reasoning by Christ. If we were to read uh, Second Timothy, uh, one uh, verse ten. Second Timothy, chapter one, verse ten. Timoteo wakabiri rimwe kuri chumi haravuga ngo. Ariko none bwaseruwe no kuboneka kumukiza wacu Kristo Yesu yahinduye urupfu ubusa ubugingo no kutagipfa akabiserurisha ubutumwa bwiza nagomba dohereza hano mu bigarati ya kandi let's read in galatian gatatu kuri gatano chapter 3 verse 5 abi sora bi crossai gatatu ahanye ne twari turi kuri gatano uh, Colossians chapter 5, uh, chapter 3, verse 5. Colossae verse 5. Colossae chapter 3, 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 verse 5. Colossae Guchokorana, kand ni hagire amagamba teiso na vamu kano kanya. Murongo uchenda. Rabu wangu ni mukabesha ne, kuko mngi ya mbuye umunu wakera ni wikorwa vjiwe. Mukambara umunu musha, ahindur kwa musha ngwagire ubgenge, amere ngishusho ye ya muremye na ya majambo ye imani. This is the word of God. We got the love from God. We got a savior who died on the cross, Jesus. We got a victory when Jesus was risen. But again, we do have to die with him and be risen with him. This is the word of God. May God bless you to do it.